on today. Right, so in this video, I'm going to be unboxing for you guys the awesome Gloom Tide Shipwrecks box. I'm going to be looking, I'm going to be opening it up, I'm going to have a good look at the sprue, and at the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what a conversion idea I have for this. It's pretty interesting, hopefully, it'll work out once I have it all built together, but make sure to stay tuned for that piece at the end. So, this set came out with the Idenet Deep King, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right, uh, a few weeks ago, a month. One and a half ago, two months ago maybe. Um, and it's just, it's a terrain piece especially for them. You get their own rules with it. Uh, especially for them. But it really is an awesome piece. It kind of looks like a, like, a, like a boat that should be in a fish tank. But uh, this is something that I've been wanting Games Workshop to release for a while. Some sort of boat thing. Because the conversion idea I've been wanting to do for a while. I've always been kind of kept one eye on it. Always thinking about it. Never got around to it. But this is definitely going to help me in the long run. So uh, let's open up this box and see what's like inside. Alright, so first off, the box is bulky. Look at the size of this thing. I had to put the camera on like a higher shelf to make sure to fit it all in frame. It's pretty bulky. It's really nice though. As I said before, I've been waiting for something like this to come out for a long time. Um, I had some cool ideas for it. Um, the pictures itself look so nice. There's so many kind of details on this. Like we have like the little fish things here. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. And the little barnacles and the fish extra pieces you get along with it here. And um, look really nice. I love the kind of the Warven guy on the front. Um, and as I said earlier, rules are included in this for your Idonet Deep King. So let's have a look and see what's in the box. So you have your instruction booklet, which is... Surprisingly, it's pretty thick, although it's like the images are huge on it. So, by the looks of it, doesn't it's not going to take too long to put together. And the rules are in the back, and um, I'm not really going to go over them. But uh, let's have a look at them. What we're all here to see: one, two, three, four sprues in this box, and they're big. They're surprisingly heavy as well. Um. Pretty bulky pieces. Ooh, I'm gonna start with this piece because I want to see this. Um, but let's have a closer look at them. Now, let me see. Let me zoom in. Let's get a better look. Um, get the focus right. There we go. I think. There we are. So. Obviously, you have kind of your base parts here, which it sticks to, which is like the part you put on the table. Um, absolutely full of detail. You have like all these like tentacles. I'm gonna use. Let me see. I'm gonna use this paintbrush because my fingers cast in a pretty big shadow. Uh, you have these awesome looking tentacles. Plenty of skulls around here as well. That you kind of pass. Uh, kind of like a lost treasure piece. You have like this kind of weird stingray type of fish on the bottom couple of little pots and all that around as well, seashells. Um, pretty awesome, it's like even that first piece that's like on the bottom, it's full of detail. Now I wanted to start with this because I've never seen this before on it. But kind of like the back part to, I don't know what you call the boat. Well it's on the very back of it, from behind you can see this. It's like, it's obviously like some sort of uh, alliance boat. Because it has like the Sigmar sign here and the little kind of picture and everything. So. I wonder if, I'd love to know a little bit of a backstory about this. Here we have some of the some of the tropical wildlife that the Idenite like to offer. Some fishes, some seaweed, which is like these are so detailed. I can't zoom in any closer. I wonder if I can get like a better look at the details from here. It's kinda of hard to focus it too close. But the yard are full of details, are really nice looking. Here we have kind of like the main part for Jesus, I've been out in a boat like tons of times. I should know like some of the names of these. Uh, but like the flooring, which is awesome, it's full of details, you have like this kind of, it's obviously a dwarven crossbow by the looks of it, because it's like, it's like, like cog pieces made into it, you have like some bones, some pots again, and they're all like broken up. No detail on the other si underside, but you're, you're obviously not going to see that. Uh, okay, there's like one like random plank here, which is piece number 20. <laughs> It's just like a weird little plank just by itself. Uh, let's move on to this part. Oh, I just got called there, so 
but I'm back. Let's have a look. Now this is a much kind of bigger sprue. Obviously, it has like the side parts which are like really bulky. You have like the knees of the boat sticking out and everything. So kind of not a whole lot on this, but a very important piece. Again, the details on it are really nice. Plenty of details. You have like more fish coming in and out of the knees. Uh, broken planks. You have your uh, kind of like your seashells, which are probably like mussels or something. And cool enough, which I've never seen before, a little kind of Sigmar comet going across the back of it. I wonder... Oh, no, I was going to say, this can't be from the old world. No way. Um, and then the other side here is pretty much the same. Almost mirrored. With, like the window holes and everything. Awesome detail with like broken pieces of wood and all that. And the shells. And then you have like planks here that are like damaged. And you have like more shells on it as well. So the next piece, which is another kind of big bulky one. Well, the last two here are kind of big and bulky all the way. But um, this one, this one has a really nice piece of detail that I didn't see before. You have the big Sigmaroid comet coming along the side here, which is awesome. You have part of uh, the Dwarven guy that was going to be, like the statue guy at the front. Which I'm kind of disappointed a little bit. Only because I thought this guy was going to be like one big chunk of piece and you just stick him onto it. Because I have a few ideas about putting something else there. But uh, I'll see how it works out. It looks like a pretty... Maybe you could take them off without uh, kind of damaging it too much. Uh, we have more fish. More of the Idanet deep, Deepkin uh, Tropical Wildlife. Here we have more parts of the Florn. Which just has like kind of random treasure pieces. Like you have your vases and everything like that. Uh, more fish. More fish. And... This piece. Let's have a look at the box. What's this piece for there? It's for some piece, but again, like all the details are kind of the same. You have your broken planks and your kind of shells on it as well. Now, this piece has a lot more detail on it. This one kind of seems to have the pieces that... Um, yeah, a lot of these are pretty detailed. So, let's start off with the side of it with the knees here. You have more fish kind of intertwined, intertangled. You have these pieces here, which by the looks of the box, they're just there to hold it together, I think. I think they're meant to come off. Have a quick look at the box. Yeah, I can't see them on the box. So I'd imagine you just snip these off to stop this, probably stop them from like bending in the box. So, pretty awesome details on there as usual. Here you have the head of the dwarf guy. Well, it looks like a dwarf guy, I thought it was. Now that I'm looking at this piece of the screw, or the sprue, I don't think it's, it is, I think it's more like of a human guy. So apologies if I, apologies if he is a human guy, I didn't mean to be calling him a dwarf. Um, this looks like a part of a door because you can see like the hinges on the side here. And then the details for the arms which are pretty bulky, he has big muscles. Oh it has to be a guy, look he has this the Stormcast type of hammer. And the markings on his shoulder. Alright buddy, be out in a second. Alright. Yeah. I'm getting called for dinner. <laughs> um, more uh, wildlife. There's like so much fish in this. It's going to be awesome when you put these on. Uh, one of the more impressive pieces which I really like is the mast. Um, it's kind of easily missed when you're looking at the box because... Um, I don't know, it's just kind of overlooked, I never paid too much attention to it. But it's really nice, it's full of detail, you have your bell and everything on it. Uh, your rope, and it's all kind of splintered on the top. And like it's one big full piece as well, so it's like all detail all around it. Which is awesome. So that's it for the sprues, everything looked really nice on them. Pretty bulky though, that's the only thing, it's a big box. It's an awesome box though. So I'm going to try and fit all these back in and then I'll finish off the video. So that was the Gloomtide Shipwreck unboxing. So what ideas do I have for this? Why did I buy this? I didn't buy it just to put it together and to paint and leave up here. No, no, no. What I wanted to do was, if you guys remember a long time ago, I, had a, I did a few videos looking at some of the Skaven clans. 
in uh, this kind of Skaven Clans book I had. And one of the clans that always caught my eye was a clan called Clan Scurvy. Basically they were like Skaven pirates. They were like going along on trade ships, they were like going along on boats and the seas and the oceans and everything. Skaven pirates, like that is like the most badass thing you can really think of. And I've always wanted to do something with uh, Clan Scurvy. I've never been able to kind of quite get around to doing it or like building a boat. And then this came out, the Gluntide Shipwreck. So what I plan on doing is, the way this is put together, it's two pieces separate. On the back it kind of looks like the two of them are together. But I have seen, I've looked up on Google, I've seen pictures of uh, this set glued together to make it look like it's like one piece of a ship. And I'm wanting to do that, I'm wanting to make a clan scurry ship. I want to put this together, I want to add uh, balsa wood planks going across it to make it look like it is kind of seaworthy to some degree. It's going to be pretty broken up still because it's, you know, it's a scaven ship. It still has to be beaten up and everything. But I want to add a little bit more extra on it so I can put like a crew on it, a scaven uh, pirate captain type of thing. So that is the big idea for this. I will not be paying this up like a ghost ship or anything like that. This is going to be painted up like a proper ship and I really can't wait to start on that. I'm probably going to be putting this together pretty soon on a live stream so make sure to keep an eye out for that. But if you guys like this idea, you think it's going to work, make sure to let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.